All right, <laughs> here we go, friends. Today's Reddit tip is actually going to demystify something that is scary in Revit. <clears throat> Shared coordinates. Oh. Man, whenever I just say that, it makes me shudder. See? Shared coordinates. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> it probably does the same with you. Forever. I told people, don't use shared coordinates. Whenever I go to like a, a kickoff meeting, a BIM kickoff meeting with all the consultants and everybody, we're like, we're going to stay away from shared coordinates, right, everybody? <clears throat> we're going to use, or we're going to link our files origin to origin, and only if something horrible happens, we will switch over to shared coordinates. Oh, said the word again. Anyway, <clears throat> but guess what? I figured it out. It's not that bad. The reason <clears throat> that it, I'm going to, I'm going to show you. Here's why it's not so bad. If you have your file and you've got a mechanical file, if the mechanical guy doesn't start um, until you give him your file and then the mechanical engineer or, you know, the PM&E guy, if he links your file into his blank file and then he begins working in context, origin to origin works because he didn't have anything in there <clears throat> to start and then when your model arrived he began working in context to yours so when you share files back and forth as long as you stay linking them origin to origin everything works but if one firm starts their model and another firm starts their model <clears throat> let's just say a site person builds a site and the building you build is a separate model. They, they didn't use context at the beginning. So they ha they can't, when you link them in origin to origin, they're like, they're, they're off, they're not lined up. And you put them together, you move one into the right spot, and then when you link them in another time, they, <clears throat> they don't have shared coordinates, and so someone else starts joining the system, like a mechanical guy, his are off. And it, it gets pretty crazy if you have files that have been started at different times, but if you want to keep the whole team locked in, you initiate shared coordinates. Oh. Oh. All right, let me just show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Reddit now put my face over here by the mountain. Look at me, hiding on the mountain. Hey, I'm on the mountain. Okay, here comes Revit. All right, what I've got right now, I just wanna show you, is a site plan. We've just got a simple site plan. This is going to have a building linked into it. It just so happens that I have a building. Now what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I wanna show you right now, I'm gonna say um, insert Link a Revit file, sounds good. And I'm gonna go to, mm -hmm, into this, oh, there's building one. Oh, it even looks like a one. We're gonna link building one in here and look at this. We are just going to link it in, carrying it, let's go manual at its base point or it's, yeah, whatever, it's made, who cares? It's center, I don't even care. Internal or, or <clears throat> Um, there we go. Look at that. Internal origin. I'm just going to carry it. So watch this. La la la. It comes in on my cursor when you go manual. doesn't come in automatically. But, oh dear, look, it's on my cursor. And I don't even know where to put it. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I'll put it over there. No, wait. I think I, it goes over here on the site. No, wait. I think it goes over there. So you can move it around because when you highlight it, if you look over here, at the properties window, you'll see that the shared site is not shared. See? So you're allowed to move that link wherever. If you go open one of your projects, click on one of the links, you'll see it's not shared. That means it's just a normal, it's inserted and you can move it around. You gotta be really careful to pin it in place so that you don't accidentally move it. I've seen that before. We linked in a mechanical system into our building one time 
After a few days of working, the mechanical, the ductwork was sticking out the wall. And someone said, hey, that mechanical guy's a jerk. He doesn't know what he's doing. The mechanical system's clear outside the building. Well, we noticed that the same distance it was out, all the plugs on the walls were off the wall and the toilets were displaced the same distance. Someone on our team had just moved, accidentally, the mechanical system, the whole mechanical file was moved. And so it needs to be pinned in place. But if you use shared coordinates, you don't, okay? So watch this. I'm gonna take this model, this one, this building, and I'm gonna place it right where I think it belongs. Look at that, up on top of this hill, okay? That looks like a perfectly legit place to have a building. So, <clears throat> what I need to do is share the coordinates of the site to the link. It pushes to it. I can push my coordinate system into it so that they're working together. And I push it in, and it's called publishing. Okay? Now, if the building were more important and the site needed to receive the coordinates, I could acquire the coordinates into the site from the building. But more, it makes more sense to publish the coordinates from the site into the building. So here we go. Watch this. If I come up here to, I'm going to click on ah, da, 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 manage. There's the manage tab right there. Manage my, ready for this? Position. No coordinates. There's the button. On the manage tab, you click on coordinates. Now look at this. Acquire coordinates. Did I just tell you that? Acquire coordinates from a file or publish coordinates to a file. So I'm going to click publish my coordinates. And then if you look down across the bottom, it says select a linked project to in which to publish your shared coordinates <laughs> system. So now all I can do, the next click is on a link. And there it is, look, it finds it, perfectly fine. And I click it. It pushes the coordinate system of the site into that file. And when I say okay here, it pushes it into that file. It actually opens that file on my server pushes the coordinates into it and hits save. It saves it. That happened right then. I'm serious. So let me just show you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save. I hit save and I save right here. Now if I want to disable all that positioning, I could click that bottom button, but I don't want to. I want to keep with the system. So I'm gonna just hit the save button. So now it's this, the building is saved into this particular location in this file. Okay, so I'm just gonna close it, file. Close. Okay, so I close the site. Now let's just say I open building one. Hey, I click on opening in building one. It has been saved. It was opened and closed by the program just a second ago. Are you with me? And the system, the shared coordinates, <laughs> were pushed into it. So here we go. I just go to my plan and I'm sitting here working on my building. I don't know. I put a door on it, whatever. You can work on the file. This is like normal. But let's say I want to bring the site in and show you that the system, the coordinates are together. So look at this, insert, link, uh, uh, file, a Revit file, <clears throat> and there's my site plan. Do I want to bring it in manually? No. Do I want to bring it in center to center? No. Um, origin to origin? No. The correct answer is right there, shared coordinates. And I hit open and look, shh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Would you look at that? It knows. And let me just show you one other thing. If I delete that, it says, do you realize you're removing a link? Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna link that Revit file back in. Site plan. Well, what if I didn't bring it in shared? What if I brought it in carrying it or just go, uh, I don't know, whatever, C center to center, origin to origin. No, I'm gonna bring it in manually carrying it by its base point. Watch this. I'm manually bringing it in, just like I had the building earlier. Oh dear, look, I don't have any way of knowing where to put it. Ah, they're not coordinated, ah. 
Oops, I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> Wah, my project manager's gonna fire me. Okay, do not fear. You can click that. And if you look over in the properties, you'll see it's not shared. <laughs> but I want, I just put it in not shared. But I want to get it to the shared coordinate system. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. So look, I click that button. Bam. And look at this top item. Move this instance of the site plan to the shared coordinate system. So when I click that button and I hit OK, it moves into place. People, Shared coordinates are not that scary. Just set up the shared coordinates between a couple files or multiple files, and you can rock and roll. So, <clears throat> I think that you got enough information right now. What I want you to do is go work with a project, maybe make yourself a site plan or make yourself, oh, bring a structural file in based on shared coordinates. <laughs> but give it a try, check it out and see if you can push your coordinate system or publish it into the structural file and you'll find that they link together exactly every time perfectly. Anyway, I hope that this Revit tip helps you guys working with coordination between two different projects. And until next time, have a fantastic, wait, wait for it, have a fantastic day and happy Reviting. I'll talk to you again. Okay, bye-bye.